Hey everyone, welcome to another $1,000 strap search. I've got my $1,000 in singles and I'm about to show you what I found. But before I do that, let's talk about this week's tip. This week's tip, don't end your hobby when you travel. Okay, um, whenever I go to Vegas or whenever I go on vacation, uh, which is usually Vegas, um, I always bring extra money so that I can buy straps of singles. Um, that way I get money not only from other banks, but from other states. Um, <laughs> you never know what you're going to find when you start varying your collection that way. All these, as well as my last two videos, were all Vegas money. I brought 3,000 singles back from Vegas from varying casinos. And uh, let's see, this list... These were from the Golden Nugget, the D, the El Cortez, the Four Queens, Fremont, the Grand, and Binions. So this was all from downtown Vegas. And I went through those, so let's get these out of the way. And uh, you should do the same. If you go traveling, it doesn't have to be a Vegas, but if you go out traveling, don't forget to stop by a local bank and see what you can get. You'd be surprised. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we got this week. Another birthday note, this birthday note, and one of the backwards birthday notes, so it's not an official birthday note, but this one is from 1938. It would be May 15th, May 15th, 1938 on this particular one. I know, not a real birthday, but if this was my birthday in that order, I would gladly take it. Did find some trinaries. This one's zeros, fours, and fives. Really good shape on that one. This trinary is fives, sixes, and nines. And zeros, threes, and fours here. Threes, sevens, and eights. Zeros, fives, and nines. And then we've got quads. Quad sevens here. And that's it, one quad. The rest of these, these are pretty healthy stacks, so these are probably all stars. Let's see, 2017 star, that's pretty crisp. This one's also in really good shape. A couple of them starting with zeros, so that's always promising. A little bit older, 2013 on this one. Same thing here. Front and back with the zeros. We'll see what that one is. This one's pretty rough. This one looks straight from the garbage can. This one's in the same, same condition here. Pretty rough in the center there. That's a little better there, this one. Can't always find the mint ones, but you never know. Two of them there. This one's a little older. This one is from 2006. Star note from 2006. And this one was really old. Check this out. And it's crisp. 2003 star note. Crisp, really good condition on that one. Did find some older notes. This one is 1999. 1995 on this one here. That one's pretty rough. 1995 as well. And another 95 here. This one's 1993. Don't see a whole lot of 93s. It's got a stain on it as well. And this is the oldest one here. This is from 1985. 1985, the oldest note in the group. You don't find the 85s, and it's very easy to mistake the 85s for 95s. You usually want to look for the... I look for the signatures. That's how I determine all that, because sometimes trying to squeeze this out, <laughs> that little fine print, sometimes that's a little tough. But I do recognize the signatures, so... That's my clue as to the years whenever I'm looking at years. I don't necessarily read the number. I look at the, the shape of the signature and think of it as an art project, if that makes sense to you guys. So anyway, that's what I found this week. Um, what did I bring out? Well, this note was in one of my top ten lists. And uh, I think it probably deserves its own showing. So I decided to bring it out. Uh, it was in one of my top ten lists. The top ten rare and expensive notes well this is a note that doesn't exist but i didn't really have a whole lot of time to talk to it during talk about it during that list so i decided to bring it out and give it its own to do uh this is what would have been the ten dollar educational note uh the educational series fe uh, came out in 1896 it featured a one dollar bill a two dollar bill and a five dollar bill it was called the Educational Series because there were educational vignettes on all of them to help educate the public. Uh, the first note referred to history, the second note referred to science, the third note referred to electricity uh, and invention. And uh, 
Then the public had an uproar about the bills, and the bills had to be yanked from circulation, and they had to redo them, and they came out with the 1899 series, where you have the Black Eagle, the Chief, um, and, uh, you know, <laughs> this was going to be the $10 bill from that series. Now, they put out the 1, the 2, and the 5, and th those were 1896. And you can see here, this would have been the series of 1897 on this particular note. The $10 educational series, uh, there's nothing on the back of this one. I don't know what the back would have looked like, but this is what they had planned for the front. Now, what they did, if you look real close, the theme on this one was agriculture and forestry that would have been the theme of the ten dollar bill agriculture and forestry so that that kind of rounds out everything there from history to science to invention and electricity and then here you've got agriculture and forestry so you you cover all the bases and you can really see the themes behind these and why it was called the educational series now this particular note of course doesn't have any serial numbers on it doesn't have the signal well, it's got a couple of the signatures but uh, no no federal reserve seals on there no anything of that particular relevance there's the act of august 4th 1886 I'm just taking a look at all the little stuff. Ten, ten silver dollars. Yeah, the educational uh, series, of course, was a silver certificate series. Ten silver dollars on both sides there and there. So, yeah, I, I do recall somebody once saying, you know, let's see the ten dollar bill. All right, well, here it is. <laughs> this is what the ten dollar educational series note could have been if the public didn't get in an uproar. So that's what I've got for you guys this week, a $10 silver certificate, or at least what would have been the $10 silver certificate from 1897. Uh, if you learned anything new this week, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like what you see and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I love reading your guys' comments, and I'll talk to you again next week.